welcome to Tell Show up here. And um, it's funny, actually, my uh, 30th birthday is actually next weekend, so it's going to be fun. Um, a real good buddy of mine, he um, lives in Princeton, and he wanted me to uh, reveal the fact that I enjoy playing with his shafts, so I did. And yeah, I said that. I played with his shafts. MIPs. And I'll show you what I did here. Last video, I revealed I got um, a set of Axial SCX10 housing aluminum from AGTs. And I've only done the rear end. But I'm going to show you something pretty cool here. There it is, installed on the rear end. Underneath. Hard to see there, but um, MIP drive shafts right down the middle. There you go, Scott. I'm playing with and stroking your shaft. Thanks for a birthday gift there, big guy. Well, that's all lit up. I have it bound to a Spectrum DX3R. I'm about to reveal everything underneath here. I have a couple different bodies here. I usually run this on, on 3S. There's my beast. I'll turn this off for now. I prefer running this beast on uh, 3S Turner G's, 5,000 milliamps. So what do we have here? Two Tekken 35 turn brushed motors. Uh, I did a lot of the wiring uh, myself. Um, however, you can see in the back here, I have a BEC and wired into a Dane's plug that um, a good buddy of mine, uh, Darren, MT Ranger, uh, check out his channel. He actually helped me out with this because the servo I'm running has like 500 ounce torque on it and it is a Savox. I don't know if you'll be able to see the number. But for now, I thought maybe I would change the front aluminum housing as well. But at this point, everything's solid, everything's working. So I'm going to leave it for now and I might change to the front. I might change the front axle housing in the future. Robinson Racing uh, transmission. Uh, full metal gears and aluminum axial SCX10 transmission housing as well. And I've got piggy, ba uh, piggy, <laughs> piggy bank, <laughs> G made piggy back shocks on here. Sorry about that. Oh, uh, that was awesome. And what else? I have these, you can't see it from there. 
but it looks a bit messy. But I have a Spectrum full on waterproof uh, 4 channel receiver underneath the battery here, which is a Turnergy uh, 3000. No, oh, sorry, this one's a 3600 milliamp 3 cell and a full working winch on the front here. And so far now I'm just ready to hit the trails. So without further ado, we have a couple bodies. You see that one? And now, this body comes off. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? I'm pretty excited. Check this out. T. Selly, 2013. I'll see you guys on the trails.